This man is 85 years old and is fit enough to remain a master of karate. This man is over 100 and is mentally sharp enough to drive a moped. They both live on the Japanese island of Okinawa, a place where there are more people over 100 than almost anywhere else on the planet, and where dementia rates are about half of those living in the West. Brain research is one of the most exciting frontiers in science today, and scientists now know more about what we can do to keep our minds young than ever before. This program will scour the world to uncover the latest research that'll help us all give our brains a boost. In Japan, we'll see how a perfect combination of diet and socializing can help people enjoy life well into old age. He's got the perfect prescription to, to live another few years past 100. In London, we'll follow groundbreaking science that reveals the best exercise we can do to ensure our brain remains fighting fit. I feel more alert. I think I can say I feel more alert. And at the cutting edge of science, we discover how injections of young people's blood may help beat dementia. Is it the fountain of youth? It might be. As we get older, the signs of ageing on our body are obvious. Grey hair, wrinkles, a loss of strength and speed. The changes taking place to our brain might be less obvious, at least initially, but they're just as profound. From the age of 40 onwards, our brains shrink by a startling 5% every decade. So a 70-year-old's brain could be up to 20% smaller than it was in their youth. For many of us, this natural shrinkage of the brain can have a huge impact on who we are, affecting our memory, reasoning skills, and even emotions. So it's important that we should find out what we can all do to counteract the effect that this shrinkage has. But first, why do the brains of some people decline more than others? Edinburgh is home to one of the world's most important studies into how brains age. Everyone in this group is exactly 79 years old. You can see they've all physically aged differently, and so have their brains. The scientists running the study are trying to find out why brains age at different rates. Psychology professor Ian Deary has studied changes in the group's mental abilities over their lives. 